This is our Sunai Pond Monitoring System that we've installed here in the store just so you can get an idea to see how it works. What you're looking at now is the dry box which is weatherproof, made to sit outside, and has notches so you can run your cables out to power things up. Inside the dry box there's several components. There's the router which has the five lights, there's the white Wi-Fi adapter, the power adapter for the router, and then in the front left hand uh, corner of the dry box you'll see a small case that carries the chip that monitors all your parameters. That's what sends everything back to your desktop dashboard and to your app. So let's have a look at those two things. When you log into your Senai account, your dashboard comes up and as you can see, all parameters are mapped so that you can go back over a course of time and see what actually happened or why it happened and possibly correlate that to an action or something that was done. Otherwise, it's still a good way to know what levels are in the pond, how they fluctuate and what they fluctuate from. So as you can see, the dashboard does have a lot of features that are fairly intuitive. The app on the other hand could use a little bit of work. Although it does give you parameters such as temperature, pH, ammonia, and oxygen, the increments can't be changed or the unit of measure. For instance, the temperature you see there is in Celsius. Uh, but as far as reporting, when something goes wrong and giving you an idea what's going on and allowing you to take readings from any minute that you access the app, that it's very good for, which at the end of the day is really all that matters. Let's circle around and take a view of the float. As you can see, there's the sensor, which sets in the float and obviously floats in the water. Uh, you see your indicator lights there, temperature, pH, ammonia. Um, there's an indicator light letting you know it's working. And that sends a signal back to the router, which the float plugs into. Um, and there is a little chip that goes in there that monitors everything. One slight downside, you do have to register that chip in order to get the text and email alerts when there's a problem. Um, and those last about a month, so that is a consumable item, but everything has consumable items, so take your pick. All in all, we're pretty happy with the setup. We like the setup, uh, and we hope you enjoy it as well. Thank you for viewing, and have a great day.